Hello everyone, I'm Tommy with Studio Sins and welcome to today's video. I'm excited to bring you my top 10 performing, aka beast mode, affordable, cheap designer fragrances, whatever season, whatever occasion. So don't go anywhere because I'm coming right back and we're gonna get right into it. Welcome back guys. We do have a lot to go over, so I'm just gonna launch right into it. So coming in at number 10 is a fragrance that I really enjoy, and that is Alfred Dunhill's Desire Blue. This to me is a wonderfully aromatic fragrance that kind of reminds me of any shop that sells high-end candles. That's kind of what this reminds me of. Desire Blue has lychee, lotus leaf, mandarin, bergamot, marine notes, orange, rosewood, amber, musk, benzoin and tonka bean. The presentation is really nice. You've got this nice flip lid bottle in the Desire Blue line and the spray is really nice, uh, very controlled so you can control how much you, you spray on. The bottle is a kind of a semi hexagon there, a ha half hex, and it fits really well in your hand. So I do like the presentation. 100 ml bottle. It projects off the skin really good for about three hours for me and lasts all day due to the great mix of rosewood and amber in this fragrance and usually when you have an aroma chemical in a fragrance like this even if it's an eau de toilette often it lasts and projects much longer than oftentimes an eau de parfum so this works really really well off your skin and will last all day it is a daytime nighttime casual wear fragrance you could also wear this to the office if you wanted to but it's more for daytime nighttime casual wear friendly wear primarily for spring and summer but also going into fall cost for this is right around 26 dollars and of course i'll leave the link below as to where you can purchase it coming in at number nine is an azaro fragrance and that is azaro chrome legend an awesome awesome flanker this is a very clean very refreshing very shower gel like fragrance soapy sudsy fresh from the shower and it keeps you smelling that way all day long with the, it's also got kind of a slightly metallic sense that dresses it up even just a little bit so it's going to be primarily for spring and summer daytime casual wear but that metallic dress up a little bit can also be worn at nighttime and even on a date i wouldn't call this a date night fragrance but again if your options are limited you could use this for date nights You've got bitter orange, you've got green apple, you've got tea, vetiver, amber, musk, tonka bean, and cedar. This beast is super fresh. It I get a good all day activity out of this with a nice jumping off the skin projection of two to three hours. This is a hyper versatile scent that is very soapy, sudsy, similar to Prada Loam, and you can get a 100 ml bottle. This is a 125 ml bottle. You can get a 125 ml bottle for right at $31. And again, I'll leave the link in the description below as to where you can purchase it. Coming in at number eight is from the Clone House Armoff and it is Hunter, Armoff Hunter Intense. I really like this fragrance. It's kind of an amalgamation though of a bunch of different fragrances uh, like Sauvage, anything Armani, and a little bit of Invictus vibe as well with a sweetness in here. And that makes it hyper versatile for use year round. You can wear this in spring, summer, fall, winter, it doesn't really matter. It shines, however, in a little bit warmer weather. You can even wear this in high heat. The occasion to use this would be daytime, nighttime, casual. However, due to the mass appealing, crowd pleasing clone built into it, you can also wear it for date night. So really there's no environment or situation or season that you couldn't wear this in which is why i use the term hyper versatile featuring bergamot lemon mandarin cardamom geranium lavender pink pepper rose vetiver cedar labdanum musk and patchouli so pretty much has everything it is a very very well projecting i get a good four hours projecting on this and about a 12 hours like like the name implies, it is an intense. Don't let modern EDTs fool you into thinking that they're not gonna last that long. As an eau de toilette, this lasts all day long and is super projecting in beast mode fragrance. Again, you can wear this on date nights, daytime casual, nighttime casual. You can even wear this to the office, but I caution you on how many sprays. It is powerful, it does project really well, Dial back on the sprays if you're gonna wear it to work. The bottle is a little bit funky in presentation. The lid only fits on a specific way because it's got a little bit of an indentation there and that's kind of annoying. 
Otherwise, it's pretty cool. You can get a 100 ml bottle for around $25. And again, I'll leave the link in the description below. Coming in at number seven is by Salvatore Ferragamo, and it's in the Uomo line, and it's Uomo Urban Feel. I love this bottle. Blue is an awesome color. You've got that Salvatore, or that uh, Ferragamo rather, um, on the side, on each side of the bottle, which is really cool. This does not have a lid on it. It is built in, which makes it slightly awkward. And this typically comes with this little thing that you pop off and then you can actually spray. The spray can be controlled, so you can put on how much that you want. So I do like that about it. The fragrance itself does come off kind of like a pine scented air freshener for your car at first but that aroma chemical burns off relatively quickly and you're left with a relatively simple yet very masculine scent profile. Featuring sage, sea salt, cumin, bergamot, driftwood, cedarwood, labdanum, ambroxan, frankincense, and patchouli. And it's really that ambroxan, uh, frankincense uh, kind of mix that causes this to project off the skin and last all day long. I get a good 12 hours out of this and a good three to four hour projection off skin. Yes, it is that good. And as a designer fragrance, you're not gonna spend a ton of money on this. For usage, you can wear this for daytime, nighttime, casual wear. I wouldn't necessarily wear this for a date night. It, it is a little bit playful, but more on the utilitarian side. It doesn't look anything that is mysterious or alluring that would be good for date night. So I would just avoid that circumstance. Otherwise, very versatile in, wear, in terms of wear and use. Great for the office, great for hanging with friends. And something good about this right now, you can get this at fragrance.net as a tester for 31 bucks for a 100 ml bottle. And that's really good. Coming in at number six is a fragrance that is a little bit divisive for some people, and that is Versace Dreamer. Dreamer is, especially when you first spray it, it's kind of like uh, the 4th of July, the climax fireworks when they shoot off everything and you look up and you just don't know where to look at the sky because there's so many things happening all at once. This is kind of going in a ton of different directions at first, but that burns off in about 10 to 15 minutes and you're left with an extremely complex, deeply intelligent, wonderful, aromatic masterpiece. Yes, it is all those things. I love Dreamer. The longer I wear this and the more I wear it and the more situations that I wear it in, the more that I really come to like this fragrance. It features juniper, artemisia, tarragon, iris, lily, flax, amber, and tobacco flower. Presentation is typical Versace class in a bottle. You've got the frosted glass uh, iconic face of Medusa on the front. Bottle is very easily held. Uh, it's almost like a Greek pillar with that little bit of design that is on Eros and Eros Flame, which is very, very iconic and reminiscent of everything Versace, which is really nice. It doesn't have a lid. It is built into the bottle. I'll go ahead and spray one for you guys. As you can see, it sprays a really good uh, almost two foot pattern there, which is really nice. And the smell is amazing. What I really love about this is it's doing its own thing. It's not trying to be something else. It is extremely unique. It smells so wonderfully aromatic. And there's so many ways in which these notes are going, but ultimately they find one tangent. It's just wonderful, it's a wonderful fragrance. Can't say enough about this. It does project on my skin for a long time. It lasts all day long, so it's got great longevity. Right now on fragrance.net, you can also get Dreamer as a tester, 100 ml bottle for $29, which is excellent. And I'll leave that link in the description below as well. Coming in at number five was originally created in 1993 and reformulated in 2015, and that is Rojas, Oda Rojas Home. And that is a very, very lemony. When you first spray this, it's gonna come off like lemon pledge. And you're like, wow, that's a lot of lemon. And it burns off. That lemon pledge smell kind of burns off, but the lemon scent profile, lemon verbena, which is wonderful note, lasts for the full life of this fragrance. However, it is wonderfully complex. You have a lot of different things going on in this and it's deeply masculine and aromatic. So you have a little bit of lemon there that lasts, but then you've got so much going on in this fragrance. It includes bergamot, lemon, lime, mandarin, coriander, basil, mugwort, pine, amber, musk, vetiver, oak moss, and cedar. Presentation is in a funky little glass bottle with something going on, I think water or waves. 
um, on the back side of the bottle, bottle. It does give it a tactile feel. It feels really good. The lid only fits one way once you put it on the bottle. It's so aromatic. The mix of bright vetiver and basil make this almost like an aromatic fougere. It is a compliment puller, a crowd pleaser. Spring and summer mainly for usage, daytime wear, nighttime wear. Uh, it is not a date night fragrance, it's too bright for that, but it's great for work and it's great for just chilling at home. You can get a 100ml bottle right now for $31 and again I'll leave the link in the description below. Coming in at number 4 is Dolce & Gabbana Intenso. Now if UPS ever made a fragrance it would probably look like this. So the presentation is nothing to write home about, it's just kind of a brown glass flacon with a basic cap. So while this may look basic, this fragrance yells and virtually screams old money. So it is a very mature fragrance, but it is very aristocratic and very rich. It's almost like an opulent, ornate house on the French Riviera. That's kind of what it reminds me of. It features aquatic notes. It's got basil, tagades, geranium, lavender, tobacco, hay and bran absolute labdanum, sandalwood, and cypress. This fragrance projects like a beast. Although it's a little bit subtle at first, it builds character over time and really comes into its own after the dry down. The pungency in Intenso comes from Tagetes essential oil. It's kind of a strong yet sweet, semi-herbaceous uh, fragrance that is kind of ketonic, and ketonic's like nail polish, like a, or nail polish, that, that bright kind of chemical aroma smell from that. If you've ever been in ketosis or heard of someone going into ketosis from the keto diet where their breath kind of smells like nail polish, it's kind of similar to that except it is more sweet and fruity, almost like a green apple. That smell, that pungency is actually from the tragedies and that's what causes this fragrance to last, project off the skin and last all day long. So really good projection and all day longevity. This is another hyper versatile fragrance. It can be worn year round. It can be worn in any pretty much situation. Uh, it's appropriate because it's so rich. It's appropriate for date night. I wouldn't necessarily wear this for a younger man. If you're 30 and under, you might not like the older kind of mature feel to this. However, it is also kind of pungent. So if you don't like that pungency, uh, always recommend for something like this to try a sample first before you blind buy it or before you buy a larger bottle. That way if you don't like it, you're not operating on a loss. This one is a little bit more costly in the list. You can get a 75 mil bottle for 38 bucks. I'll leave that website link in the description below. Coming in at number three is another hyper versatile fragrance and that is Jimmy Choo Man. Now I absolutely love these little 15 mil bottles. You can of course get them in 50, 100 mil bottle, whatever size variation that that you prefer, but it's extremely inexpensive to get these and suddenly your fragrance has become mobile. Not that you necessarily need this to be mobile because once you spray this on, it is going to last all day long and it's gonna project off the skin really well. In Jimmy Choo Man, you've got lavender, you've got watermelon, mandarin, pink pepper, you even have some pineapple leaf in here. You've got geranium, suede, you've got amber woods, and patchouli. Jimmy Choo Man is just, a, it, it, it gets some hate in the community because it's, it's, it's been said that it's kind of generic and it's a sellout because it's crowd pleasing and it, it is all those things it's, it's definitely crowd pleasing it's definitely a compliment getter and a compliment puller if you want those if you like those aspects of a fragrance this is the fragrance for you and because it's been out for a little while the price has come down a bit and that's why it's in this list I truly enjoy Jimmy Choo Man a lot of people have compared it to fragrances like Coach for men and while it is I do see the similarities in Coach and, and Jimmy Choo Man there are differences there are enough differences as to make them two completely different fragrances however you can use them interchangeably if you want to but you're gonna pay about ten dollars more for whatever version whatever size of Coach that you get on Jimmy Choo Man right now you can get a hundred mil bottle which is a tester from fragrance.net for thirty four dollars which is really good for Jimmy Choo Man. All right guys, we're down to our last two bottles. Coming in at number two is a Hugo Boss fragrance and it is Boss Bottled Intense. Now this is the Eau de Parfum version. Boss Bottled Intense is a wonderfully aromatic, semi-gourmand, extremely woody, masculine fragrance. Because there's so much in this, it is another, what I term, hyper-versatile fragrance. 
Hyperversatile means that there's really not any situation or season that you can't wear this. Of course, it's always going to be completely up to you as to when, where, and why that you wear your fragrances. Don't let any reviewer or anyone tell you that you can't wear a summertime fragrance in the dead of winter if you want to, or a wintertime fragrance in the high heat of summer. You can definitely do that. These are just suggestions as to when it's best utilized as a general rule. And this, however, best utilized any time that you really want to wear it. It features notes of orange blossom, bergamot, lemon, apple, clove, cinnamon, rosewood, geranium, olive wood, sandalwood, and vetiver. The bottle is nothing to write home about. It's just your basic boss bottled presentation with a simple format. They chose to focus primarily on the juice instead of the presentation, and I respect that. It's just simple, simplified lid, decent atomizer, and just a kind of a rounded bottle fits well in your hand and the smaller bottle if you opt to get the smaller 50 mil like I did it's a lot easier and suddenly again you've got a mobile fragrance that you can take with you however intense does last all day long you'll get some people that knock intense saying that hey, it's outdated or it smells like animal urine I can kind of see where you're going where people are going with that with the whole urine thing but it's never come to that smell for my nose it is lightly animalic but the gourmand and the semi sweetness and the woodiness take all that away and it balances it really really well women love how this smells on men so it is a great date night fragrance as well as daytime, nighttime, casual wear. You can wear this to the office. You don't have to worry about overspraying this. It is really, uh, it layers really well with, with clothing in terms of fall and winter weather. There's just so many ways in which you can wear this fragrance and they're all completely up to you. Boss Bottle Intense, however, the reason it comes in at number two, it's a wonderfully versatile fragrance for every and all occasion. A 100 ml bottle will cost you about $42 on most discounter websites. However, if you're like me, you can get the 50 ml bottle for substantially less. And I'll leave one of those links in the description below. My number one pick for affordable beast mode fragrances might surprise you. However, I have chosen Kenneth Cole Signature. This is such a stout, wonderfully masculine, woody fragrance. To me, this fragrance reminds me of going out as soon as the weather starts turning cold, grabbing an ax and working out your frustrations and creating cords and cords of wood by chopping kindling, breaking up, busting up logs. And by the time you've, you've started sweating, you realize you feel better and it's almost therapeutic. And that's when this shines. A little bit of heat activation on this fragrance brings out the deep, intense masculine woodiness of it. Kenneth Cole Signature has grapefruit, pimento, cardamom, violet, it even has espresso note in there, orris root, we've got some marine notes, water lily, amber, guaiac wood, papyrus, and patchouli. Absolutely love this presentation as well. The bottle fits really well in your in your hand and the, the cap is magnetic so it snaps into place. Really really enjoy this. The atomizer works really well. Oh, love this fragrance. This fragrance also lasts all day long. It projects off your skin really, really nicely and it creates a nice subtle bubble that is extremely woody masculine. Very, very heady fragrance. And it lasts for a good 10 hours, so a good 10 to 12 hour day. I wouldn't call it hyper versatile. This is more of a daytime, nighttime, casual wear fragrance. However, because it does have a little bit of that alluring mystery to it, this is also a really good date night fragrance. This is in my date night fragrance rotation. I've used it many, many dates. It works really well. Women love the smell of this on, on skin and it is a masculine wingman of a date night fragrance. Just love Kenneth Cole signature, which is why it's coming at number one. This wonderful fragrance right now, you can get on fragrance.net as a tester for 24 bucks, a 100 ml bottle. It is an EDT, Eau de Toilette, but that is a fantastic deal. 24 bucks for a 100 ml bottle. So I'll leave that website, that link in the description below, and you can run out and get yourself a bottle if you don't already have one. Kenneth Cole signature, my number one pick for beast mode affordable uh, economic fragrances for men. All right, that's it for my list, guys. Thank you so much for stopping by and watching. I really do appreciate your time. As always, thank you so much for your support. I'm Tommy with Studio Sense, and I'll see you next time.